I received a few comments on my latest Santa Monica Pier video, a few questions about how I color graded the video, and how I actually shot each clip. So I thought I'd do a little behind the scenes of what I shot it with, and what settings I used, and how I color graded the project. For this project, I used the Panasonic G7 and filmed at 1080 at 60 frames per second. I felt like this project needed to be in slow motion to kind of stretch the time I had when I was physically there. So without further ado, let's hop on over to the computer. Right here, I was trying to look for a good foreground and background element. And so I had good background with all the people and the city and the sea. It's, it's good background, but I needed a foreground. And just as I was looking around, she was just right there, so I thought, well, that might work. So I'm going to set the end point just right as she flips her hair back. And going to set the out point about right there. That's probably the maximum amount of footage I will need. I probably will even edit that down further as seen in the full video. So here's another cool shot. Now this first part I messed up and now I was trying to reframe it. So right about there is my end point. And it's slowed down, it's an arcing shot, looks nice and cinematic, the backgrounds move in. It's looking pretty good. One thing that I've learned through editing is to keep your shots very short, even though they may be epic, Brother cut to something else, even if it's not as cool. That way your audience has something new to digest. So in other words, you can have a clip that's shorter and still have the same impact, if not even better, because you're stacking different visual information. So I don't need the entire arcing shot, just a little portion of it. All right, after we made a little edit, we're going to do some color correction to each of the clips. So I'm going to bring up the color correction tab and the scopes. I'm going to set my black level and my white level, basically giving the image a little bit more contrast. So right down here are the shadows and I'm going just to bring them down till they touch zero. And the same thing with the highlights. We're going to bring those up just so they touch it. You don't want to go too high or else they'll be clipped and your image will look absolutely horrible, but just enough so they touch that 100 level. And for this shot, there's nothing really particular that's black in the image. There's some very dark colors, but I can still bring those shadows down just a bit and those highlights up. So it looks good right there. You know, you don't wanna bring these darks all the way down. Those aren't the shadows or more mid-tones. I'm gonna do the same thing to all the rest of these clips. So that's the basic color correction. Now we're going to add a color grade. This is going to make it that cinematic color and film look goodness. And for this, I recommend installing a plugin called CineLook. This will convert your footage into a film look, which we do want. Instead of applying this to each individual clip, which will take longer to edit, I'm going to use an adjustment layer, which comes with that plugin. The cool thing is we can drag it across the whole entire project and set our color grade on the adjustment layer. So I'm going to install the CineLook plugin right here. So out of the box, it looks okay, but it's definitely not the best. We want to adjust a few things. Normally, I would drag this color treatment all the way down, but for this project, I just left a little bit of that color treatment. I don't know if I can tell the difference but in between these shots, but I just felt like it gave a little bit more film-like quality. The main thing I use this plugin for, besides this two, three to five aspect ratio, is for this vignette function, which will darken and blurs the edge, which I feel gives more to the film look. And I definitely like how the edges blur a bit. And now we're going to adjust our composition. As with the crop bars, you may not get the exact composition you like, but the good thing is you can adjust that. So I'm going to click on the clip, not the adjustment layer, just the clip. I'm going to adjust the image position to give me the composition I'm looking for. So right about there looks good. It kind of aligns with the rule of thirds. 
you got enough headroom and look room. You don't want to go too high with these clips or you'll get the image left off. Alright, so now we adjust the composition. Now let's actually apply a color grade. And to do that, I'm going to use this plugin called MLUT. This is a LUT loader, which you can apply a LUT, which basically is a filter for your video. So with the stock library, they give you a few different looks you can try out. But for this one, I use Startling. It gives the warm feeling that you're on a beach. And typically, I will reduce the intensity just because I feel like it gives too much. So this is just a little example of kind of how I edited the video, how I color corrected and color graded for this project. If you want to watch the full video, you can click it right here on the left, or you can watch my latest video on the right. See you later.